Kaufman just one of many Republican casualties here in Colorado. The sports equivalent of a blowout and like sports, losing is not taken lightly. Bill Folsom here with some perspective from Republicans on what they do next. Bill. Yeah, with few reasons to celebrate the Republican Party loyal, they are talking about why the message they believe is best failed. Many say you can't deny the results, so they need to look at doing things differently. More murmurs than cheers with concession after concession at the Colorado Republican Party results event. We came up short tonight. In this battle of ideas, sometimes we come up short. The waves were too big for this ship of ours to stay afloat. Tried and true Republicans taking a beat down by Democrats. On the statewide level, things were tough for Republicans. GOP loyalists stand behind the party platform while admitting their message was lost. Many support President Trump, well aware many others vehemently don't. Our country is so critically divided right now. I mean, even family, friends. You know, you can't even talk about Mr. Trump, right? That's a problem we have in this country. Everything is about emotion and feeling, and you really have to look at the facts. Guilty by association, emotion, political spending, or did one party just do far better than the other? I hope, I hope that after this, that the GOP will see we've got to come up with some other solutions because this is not working. We have to we have to figure out what happened and act correctly. Colorado Republican Party Chairman Jeff Hayes can't dodge the reality of the party's losses. He is also cautious about speculating and pointing blame. I think the risk when the emotions are this high and the dis disappointments this high is that you can make the wrong conclusions or draw the wrong conclusions, make the wrong decisions going forward. And the Republican chair says he'll be meeting with county leaders, candidates, and their campaigns for a critical look at this loss. Rob? Bill, thanks.